In today's video, I'm going to show you three captivating methods to grab attention on Instagram. If you're a video editor and you incorporate it in your work, I bet you will get more views on the videos, either yours or your clients. It's extremely simple, so without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so we're back in the software and I'm just going to show you the first method. So for this, I'm just going to create one letter. The whole word is going to be called title, but for now, we're going to start backwards. So we're just going to recenter it. I'm going to probably bump up the font size, recenter it again. Then we're going to add drop shadow effect to this. We're going to bump up the opacity distance to 0 and softness to 150. Maybe I went overboard a bit. All right, let's recenter and we're going to put it somewhere here. I'm going to duplicate that layer, put it to the side, and then we're going to type in L. We're going to do it one more time. Let me just adjust the position. All right, so we got the whole word. I'm just going to make a little adjustment. Honestly, it seems good to me. So that drop shadow effect is giving you that nice look. Even though the text is 2D, it still gives you the feeling of the 3D. Drop shadow is such a OP effect. Next thing we need to do is select them all. I'm gonna hit Alt Shift P, then I'm gonna drag it forward and we're just gonna grab the X position and bring it to the left. I'm gonna select them all, hit F9, go to the graph editor and let's create a peak on the left. So basically that's how it's looking. We could actually drag the first point to the left. All right, so that's what we got. And the next thing we need to do is create keyframes for opacity. So I'm gonna hit Alt Shift T, move backwards and change it to 0%. Pretty cool, we can easy the keyframes. And what I'm gonna do next is offset that text. So every letter should have a little bit of space. So it's already pretty cool. I just think we should make it a bit faster. So let's say, make sure you got around three frames in between the letters. Already a pretty cool effect. I'm just gonna turn on the motion blur and let's see how the title looks on the talking head video. So that's a very eye-catching effect, I absolutely love this. So the second method is basically putting the text behind the character, in that case it's me. And now the thing we need to do is just double click the layer, head over to the roto brush tool and we're just gonna select the body, right? So just make sure to select every part of the body, especially around the head because we kinda wanna put that text at this line. All right, once you hit play over here, then you should analyze it pretty good. Depending on your footage, if it's nicely lit up, it's gonna be fine. My face is pretty dark on the side and it's still doing a pretty good job. All right, I think that's gonna be enough. So I'm gonna click here and we're gonna actually drag that point and align it with the time indicator. I'm gonna hit freeze. I'm gonna go back and now the thing we need to do is duplicate that layer. I'm gonna go to the original one and here we're gonna delete the roto brush tool. Now I'm gonna put the text in between the layers and we go back to the composition window and we drag that text upwards and we move forward. You should be able to see the text behind the head. So for this, I'm just gonna scale it up somehow like that, maybe even more and let's just see. So this is a pretty cool way to put the text behind. Probably if the shot was a little bit longer, it'll be better because I would have more space to fit the text. But generally speaking, it's an amazing method to grab attention. And as for the last method, I'm just gonna real quick delete all these three layers and we're just gonna type in the new word, which is gonna be again title. And the thing that really looks amazing is just underlining the text. So for this, I'm just gonna grab the pen tool and the magical component is just underlining it halfway through. So let's say we're gonna do it like that. And then we're just gonna head over here. We're gonna turn off the fill and we're gonna turn on stroke. Let's bump up the stroke width. We're gonna make sure that the shape layer is below the title. And let's also change the color to, let's say, maybe something orange. Already looks pretty sick. Especially when it's not exactly in the middle, it looks pretty cool. Also, the thing we could do is add drop shadow to the text. I'm gonna bump up the opacity decrease distance and do the same as before, which is bumping up the softness. That's looking extremely good. And the thing is that I would probably head over here, go to add trim paths, open up keyframe end, and we're just gonna move it forward and change it to 0% in the beginning. Now the thing I'll do is just select these two, hit F9, and we're just gonna create a peak in the middle. So let's quickly do that. Let's soften it out at the end. And then what I'm gonna do is head over here and I'm gonna turn on the motion blur. I'm just gonna quickly drag that text onto the timeline and I kinda wanna see how it would look with the combination of that underline effect. So I'm gonna delete that title and we're just gonna put it here. Actually pretty cool. I'll just probably adjust the scale and then drag these two a bit lower. Okay, let's see. That's such a good technique. And then make sure to add some sort of a zoom out effect. You can do it with transform. I'm just gonna head over to the motion essence, go to shake, full HD, vertical shake. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. Now I'm gonna make sure that it's zooming out. All right. With that little shake, it's looking absolutely brilliant. So that'll be it for today's video. Hopefully it will help you out with grabbing attention on Instagram or on any other platform. So without further ado, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.